What's good, man? Black Sheep in the house coming through with another video, man. This is about to be a quick one. So if you are if you are disciplined and you're disciplining every aspect of your life from your physical appearance, your mental, your mental health, your spiritual health, everything that you have to get into alignment has to be in alignment for in order for you to level up more in this life, more in this in this video game that we live in. Now, if you are disciplining yourself to the fullest and you're starting to understand who you really are, your identity, only self-love can can amount. Only self-love can be the end result of that. Because when you are self-disciplined, that means you love yourself. You don't need nobody else to tell you to do this. You don't need nobody to uh, give you that direction. You don't need somebody to tell you to, you know, retain your seed. He, hey, I'm guilty as charged. But at the end of the day, I'm still applying things to my life that are going to help me grow every single day. As y'all is watching this video, y'all should do the same thing. You are responsible for your own di discipline. You are responsible for your progression in life. I'm at a point, bro. I'm in a, I'm in a spot in my life where I don't need nobody to tell me shit. Okay, everything that I that I can figure out for myself, I can go within. I can do my own research. I can educate myself. So, like I said in my in my last video about this the the, uh, the education system being broken, you can educate yourself. Self education is the new norm, ladies and gentlemen. It's the new norm, whether anybody wants to believe it or not. Nobody can tell you anything, bro. Nobody can teach you shit anymore. This is a this this is a, a free for all world. This is every person for themselves out here. Sure, you can watch other people's videos. You can watch you can watch me and take something from this. You can watch all my videos the past couple months and take something from it. But I don't want you to take everything. I don't want you to just do what I'm doing. Maybe what you're doing for yourself is working, bro. It could be working out in in the, in the best way possible for you. I'm trying to find things that are going to work for me. I'm currently trying to invest more into the vessel that God has blessed me with. And I'm and I've taken a lot of time to to figure out who I really am, bro. Like this vessel that I'm embodied with from the most high. Because I see myself in the mirror and I, and I just accept me, bro. I just accept me. I, I validate me so much, bro. But what, come, what comes with self-love comes with disciplining yourself, man. Nobody should tell you to be on semen retention. This is the last time I'm ever talking about semen retention. Semen retention, last time. What's the point? What's the point of busting a nut if you're only going to feel happy for five fucking seconds, bro? Five seconds? Five seconds of happiness? Five seconds of temporary pleasure? Are you kidding me, bro? Man, get out of here with that bullshit. I'm trying to chase long-term happiness. What about you? We may slip up here and there, but you know, it takes a lot of trial and tribulations to get, to get it right. It takes mistake after mistake, slip up after slip up, trip up after trip up to make it right, bro. To make this shit make sense and to get it right, man. To master yourself. If you want some encouragement, here's some, here's some encouragement. It takes a lot to master yourself. Okay, if you're at a point in your life and you're struggling to discipline yourself, look, I get it. Okay, I struggle to discipline myself every single day. Every single day. But one thing I can say for myself is that I'm trying. I'm on this journey. I'm trying. I'd rather be where I'm at today than where I was five years ago or every, or even a year ago. I can look myself in the mirror and know 
that each year has passed, I have progressed. I have evolved. No matter how many times life wants to kick me down or whatever certain situations happen or my, my circumstances get the best of me, I always find a way to validate my, myself. With that being said, man, it's very important for you in 2020 to master yourself. Discipline is key to to self-love. Because when you really work on yourself and you stay grounded, you stay in the journey, you watch what you eat, you go harder in the gym, you spend less time with toxic people, you invest your money into into things that matter. You know, you just, you keep yourself active. You keep yourself in the moment of things and you keep yourself present. You work on the things that you need to work on in order to level up. Because before anything can happen in the physical realm, something, listen, if before anything can happen in the physical realm, what happens in the spiritual realm has to go down first in order for it to translate you have to be f- completely in tuned you have to be in a position to receive messages signs synchronicities from the universe i'll get into synchronicities in a different video because let me tell you something i have been seeing 11 11 for like the past couple months Continuously, every time I look at my phone, it's a 1 11, 11, 11. Sometimes it's 222. It's, it's not a coincidence. Your blessings will not come to you, bro, if you don't discipline yourself. Discipline is key to attaining anything you want out of life. You can sit up here, you can sit up. You can sit up at your crib, look at, at the phone, look at social media, you know, scroll down a feed and whatnot, look at people's lives and, you know, get envy and jealous and bitter because they got what you don't got. When you have no idea how hard they had to work for that, man. And maybe they were handed everything. Who knows? They were just put on. They had the right circumstances, the right resources. They had the right people around them and you just did it. You didn't have any of that. You didn't have the support system. You didn't have nobody by your side to give you, to drop some knowledge, drop some game on you, give you the blueprint for you to be successful in life. That's what it takes. It takes a support system, bro. I never had that in my life. You know who I got? I got me. Most importantly, I got me. To, to stay on my ass and to stay on my discipline because I love myself too much to not discipline myself. And, and God, you got you to gotta look to God. God is your number one supporter in life. Understand that. God will always be with you whatever, wherever you go. You don't need to go to church to praise him. I ain't talking about the God of this matrix. I'm talking about the God of the universe. The one that made Adam and Eve. That, the one that worked six days in and out. He took an off day on the seventh day to rest. He was building the foundation that we will all call earth. God is very disciplined himself as well. And he would want you to be disciplined. He would want me to be disciplined in order to see the fruits of labor, in order to see the greatness of my, the the results, right? The results of my discipline. Through, Through this journey, during this journey, you have to love yourself every day, bro. I know it's tough, I know. But the only way you can see 
the finer things in life. You can see on the other side, go outside the forest to see the trees, outside the forest to see the trees that you have to put in that work. In order to get to the other side of the, of the promised land, you have to put in that work. You got to. Because nothing in, in this lifetime will ever be handed to you. We're not born to be gifted. We're not gifted with a lot of things. We're not gifted at, at all. It takes grit to become the best version of yourself. It takes grit to be a better man. It takes grit to get better at something every day. A lot of things we do, man, it takes grit. But it all starts with your discipline. Keep that in mind, man. Like, subscribe, and share this video. The Enlightening Black Sheep is out. Y'all have a great day.